Fadi, let's start with the biggest issue on ICANN's plate, the new GTLD program. ICANN had previously said it was looking around mid-year for a possible approval for delegation. Is that still accurate? It is, and moreover, I can be more accurate than that. We are now um, targeting to be able to recommend for delegation the first new GTLD as early as the 23rd of April. And I can say this because we have made great progress in the last few weeks in aligning all the necessary pieces that would permit us to recommend a delegation as early as the 23rd of April. Now, having said that, I want to be very clear. There are some things that we can't control that may cause this date to slip, but even in that case, we are looking for a slippage of days or weeks, not months anymore. So we are definitely now with clear visibility on a set of processes that allow us to hit uh, the first recommended delegation as early as the 23rd of April. Now, uh, it's very important to clarify that not all actions that get GTLDs to be functional and ready for the market are within our control. So every applicant will have their own plans and they will do things at their own pace. But the parts that we are responsible for and that we will affect through our actions are moving forward in good progress and we now have for the first time clear visibility to when we can make that recommendation. This is the first time that ICANN has mentioned a specific date with regard to this program. It is indeed, and that's because of tremendous work that has taken place in the whole community with many of the leaders of the community and within the ICANN staff to align our operations, to align our legal and business frameworks, and to align all the input we need from the community, including the input that we're getting on the straw man proposal, so that we can start moving the whole program to take off and start becoming a reality that serves the consumers. I want to be clear. Many people believe that we're serving this part of the community or that part of the community by moving this fast or this slow. I want to be clear that the only thing that is motivating us to do our job and do it well is our sincere belief that the introduction of the new GTLDs is good for the consumer. It's good for innovation. It's good for competition. And at a time when the world is facing difficult economic times, we need to find every possible way to give small businesses and communities the means to express themselves, to sell their goods, and to innovate and create opportunity. And I'm committed to that, as is the community of ICANN. This seems to fly in the face of what you said in Amsterdam, where you basically said, if I had my way, I'd like another year for this program. In Amsterdam, I was sending a clear signal that some of the uh, legal and business frameworks that are necessary for a mature industry to serve consumers well and deliver a good GTLD program were still not finished. Since then, I have had excellent roundtables with many leaders in this industry, and we have been able, in a span of a few weeks, as some of the registrars and registries attested themselves, we have been able to advance our discussions in a few days more than we have in the last two years. This is because of focused, committed work on behalf of the uh, community and the ICANN staff and our vendors. I am very pleased with the progress we made. And I think that the date of 23rd of April is now doable. Uh, of course, there are risks, but in my opinion right now, and assuming everyone acts in good faith to support this program, which I think will be a very good program for our consumers, we will meet that date. Should we slip by a day, a week, a couple of weeks, I think that's within reason, but we're no longer looking at slippage of months. So I urge everyone to appreciate that this great and most important change in the DNS that we've all been, been waiting for is now upon us and we have clear visibility to the train taking off from the station. You're getting a lot of pushback from the intellectual property community. Where is that going? Look, ICANN has 
listened and will continue to listen to the concern of our IP community and business constituency. These are important concerns. And I have shared with them that as someone who's been on the business side, I have a personal keen understanding of the concerns they have. Having said this, it's important we all appreciate that the new GTLD program is now moving forward. And it's a good program for consumers. It will provide choice and it will provide competition that we sorely need at a time of economic difficulty around the world. We want to keep that moving forward. Now, if the concerns they brought during the discussions I had around the straw man, um, uh, are they legitimate? They're absolutely legitimate. And when I said in Amsterdam that I made a mistake, unfortunately many of them were not there to hear the context. I made a mistake in convening meetings in a way that may not follow the ICANN Code of Conduct, and I apologize for that. In fact, I may have broken some unwritten rules about how we bring people together to solve issues. That I admitted, and I'm fine with that. I have not said that the work of the straw man is throwaway work. This is important work. We have received the input from the community. We are analyzing it and reviewing reviewing it right now, and we'll be releasing our results. Some of the things that came in the straw man belong to implementation, and we'll move forward with them maybe in the short term. Other things may need to be moved back into the normal uh, policy development process. But in all cases, I invite the IP and BC community, with whom I'm working closely, to continue to use the multi-stakeholder model, to use the processes that we've put in place, to voice their concerns, and to address them and I will be supporting their efforts in that regard. Having said this, the new GTLD program is nonetheless moving forward. You're about to embark on a trip to Asia, specifically Beijing, Tokyo, Seoul, and Singapore. What's the purpose of that trip? First of all, I uh, am behind on visiting our uh, community in Asia. So uh, I've been on the job for a little over four months, and it's time that I head to Asia, and I, I will also be heading uh, to Africa and other places uh, in the coming few weeks. Uh, I'm going to meet our community, and I'm going to make sure that they, uh, first of all, understand how important uh, Asia is uh, to ICANN's mission. Without a full embrace of Asia, ICANN does not have full global legitimacy. It's very important that we go, that we listen, that we embrace their needs, and that we start em establishing our presence in Asia. So as you know, we are very uh, clear that Asia needs a hub, uh, an operational ICANN hub, and, and I'm going there to uh, uh, share uh, our plans and our ideas with our community uh, and get their feedback so that we can very soon move forward with our plans to establish a proper uh, set of operations serving the Asian community. Will you personally be conducting more of these sorts of regional engagements? I will be there as much as I can. Uh, I also, uh, through the work of Sally Costerton and Tarek Kamel, we are building a very superb a broad team of vice presidents that will be in the regions uh, helping with the engagement. So uh, we will distribute the work as much as I can, but I will be there personally to usher uh, the new ICANN, the new global ICANN. Uh, we believe that ICANN for too long has had a centrality of operations in Los Angeles. And whilst we've had people outside Los Angeles, uh, frankly, they were satellites to a central hub called Los Angeles. That is about to change. We are going to break the operational, operation, uh, operational uh, services that ICANN provides from Los Angeles into three hubs so that we can get closer to our stakeholders as I promised in Toronto. And Asia is the first place we're going to do that. Fadi, good luck on your trip. Thank you. Thank you.